today's video, we are talking about warranties, RV warranties. There's a couple types of them. We're gonna cover both of them. We're gonna cover some pros and cons of them, our own personal experience. And to start this whole entire thing off, we're starting right here, which you'll be able to see. We recently just had some warranty work done on this. And this is the first time we've seen what they've done. I can't personally see it. Bob's gonna tell you all about it. All right, so starting up here on the roof, this skylight has been painted. Um, it actually looks like they did a fairly decent job painting the trim piece that goes on it, except for they got a bunch of overspray on the roof, which is a little disappointing. And I'm assuming there's some like chemicals that they used maybe to clean it or prep it, because I can also see some like discoloring from that. So a little disappointed that it looks the way that it does, but I'm hoping after we wash the van, uh, maybe it'll turn out a little bit better. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. But at least it doesn't stand out now when you're driving down the road with this white weird thing on the top of the van. So at least that's done, but now I gotta clean up their mess. Okay, so we're gonna bring you guys inside because it's too windy and too cold. But first, we're gonna have some tea because it's cold and we're wimpy. Arizona usually is in the 70s and 80s right now. And I think today, we're maybe in the 50s. Bob, here's some tea. All right, let's start with the basics. So there are two basic types of warranties. You've got your manufacturer's warranty and your extended warranty. Now, one of the things that I found really interesting that I learned when we were going through all of our warranty problems is that the manufacturer's warranty is really broken down into two pieces. You've got like the chassis warranty and then you've got like the upfitter uh, warranty. So for our ProMaster, I had to work with the Ram dealership on our glass and like if there's any chassis issues, I've got to work with them. But if there's any issues with the coach, you know, the battery systems or the bed or the bathrooms, whatever, then I'd have to work with Thor in order to get things repaired. Okay, I have a small question. Yes. So those are two things that come with it for how long? Yes. So it's going to vary. The chassis, I believe it has like a 60,000 mile like powertrain warranty. And then for Thor specifically, they offer a two year manufacturer's warranty for the coach. Different upfitters will have different warranty lengths. I've seen up to five years. I've seen three years is pretty common, um, but Thor only offers a two year. Extended warranties are a little bit different. That is going to be something that you have to pay an additional cost for. It's going to be provided by a third party and they can be kind of expensive. We haven't had any experience with our uh, extended warranty because, well, our manufacturer's warranty is still active. So this is our actual uh, extended warranty with Portfolio One. So this was an extra cost that we purchased at the time of our van. And so what we ended up getting was we got a policy that is good for 72 months or 60,000 miles. Would you say that's good though? Because by the time we're going to start using this, we're well, going to be at 30,000 miles. So that brings up a very good point. Is an extended warranty worth it? Well, to share an interesting fact with you, when we were at our last RV show, we were talking to one of the salesmen there and he told us that on average, people are changing out their RVs or swapping to a new one every three years. And that kind of got me thinking like, okay, if I get a two year warranty, you know, from the manufacturer, does it make sense for me to pay for another three years when uh, the average person is not even going to keep it that long? So... I don't know if it was worth the cost. And they do say it's transferable though. They did say that. I actually, I didn't read the terms to see if that's true or not. I probably should have. Our agreement price was $4,499. <laughs> I, I, I look back and I think we were just kind of um, dazed and confused in the, you know, we were super excited to be buying the, an RV we really wanted it and I think they just kind of roped us in. I think they're quite expensive. I don't think we would have spent $5,000 in maintenance on it, primarily because, well, I would have done it myself. There are some things that 
would be very hard to do yourself. Like some of the, the paneling and the trim pieces that we had replaced would be difficult but to do, to do by yourself because just simply matching the color. No, no, no. I know, but we had it done under our two-year warranty. Well, Would you actually need that stuff done past your two to three-year, what is this one called, manufacturer warranty? Yep. So that's where we I, had no idea. Right. We thought, I think we thought you had to do this warranty, otherwise you wouldn't have a warranty. That's how newbie we were. That's true. That is very true. So yeah. now I will say, if you had a van that you didn't use regularly, and let's say it sat in storage except for maybe two trips a year, I could see where the extended warranty would really make a lot of sense because you would never get to the 60,000 mile mark. And you would also then within your two years, you'd never really kind of put everything through the paces and like find where all the flaws were. But like for us, we've driven, I don't know, what are we at? Like 20,000 miles? No, 30, I think. Yeah. Almost. I, I don't know for sure. Yeah. We're like, we're almost at 30,000 miles in basically two years. And I mean, we definitely have taken this thing through the ringer. And and so of course we found all the flaws, everything that needs to get fixed. But I come back to is $5,000 worth it? I think I could have done a lot of repairs for $5,000. I would agree with Bob on all of that. I don't know that we should have done the extended warranty. Again, like he said, we were just newbies. We did not know what we were doing. And so when I look down at our portfolio one uh, extended service agreement, it says there's a hundred dollar deductible optional coverage, turbo, turbo diesel, AV digital tech convenience package. I don't know if we even got that. I don't know why it would say that. That's a great question. Cause I, we don't have, we don't have diesel. diesel. Nope. Um, term months, 72 months, like Bob said, up to 60,000 miles. So all that to say, <laughs> I don't think this was worth it at all if I'm being honest, but they did say it can transfer. So if we were to like sell Mr. Lemon and you know, there's still going to be issues and stuff, this would go to the next person. I guess that would be worth it. I don't know. Maybe this would be like part of the package. It would make it more attractive. <laughs> I don't know, but I will say in two years of owning Mr. Lemon, cause it, we're going on two years in May, we've had so much done that it's almost brand new at this point. And actually let's go over Bob, what we've had done before going on to Moving on to what we just recently had done. I think we need to take a walk down memory lane. All right, so sifting through all of our paperwork, this is our warranty work that we've had done. I actually <laughs> have some receipts here, but let me just quick run through these. So this is for the sliding glass window repair that we had done when we first bought our unit. It had a bad piece of glass on the sliding glass door. It was leaking, so there's Item number one, our water tank. We actually had a couple of different issues with that. We had the fill, like the gravity fill line on top of the tank. The connection was broken and leaking. Then when they came back out and they, I believe they changed the water tank, put some new fittings on it, but they missed one. And then we were driving down the road and it was filling the van with water because it was sloshing back and forth. Let's see, uh, we had our headliner replaced. So this part right here, um, actually had a big crease in it um, from the factory that just came that way. And so we had, they basically came and pulled that piece out, put a brand new one on and replaced all of those parts. Oh yes, of course, we had the skylight um, latches that were popping open. So they had to come out, replace the entire skylight. It does latch now, it doesn't fly open when we're driving down the highway but it needed to be painted. So next one. All right, on this one, we had 11 pieces of wallpaper changed throughout the entire van. It's pretty much brand new at this point. Oh, this one is for our batteries that um, they actually didn't honor the warranty with our batteries. So yeah, that was really disappointing. We had our outlet strip or like the pop-up piece on the galley countertop. We oh, had here. that changed. That's that's new. That's oh. new. This is when we had the BM Pro um, oh, that was master a big node. One. Yeah, the master node being replaced. So with our control system, we had the master node replaced and we had the local display replaced because it didn't work when we first bought it. The BM Pro. A guy recently told us that that's a very common warranty issue. Yes. So well, anyways. Yep. So I don't know. I don't want to spend too much time on that, but 
as you can see, we've had a ton of warranty work done and surprisingly, it has not cost us any money. There's only one item that we've actually paid for and that's because I broke it. And so I told them that, hey, I needed a new one and they bought me the replacement part. Okay, let's segue into that right now because that is one of the things that we just had replaced, but not really replaced. So Bob needs to replace it. Bob, you ready for some work? Papa. All right. So I broke our vent covers um, to our air conditioner. I was actually trying to pull the vent cover off so that I could clean it because it was kind of getting dusty. I just wanted to make sure we had good airflow. And basically I stuck my big old finger between these little plastic pieces <laughs> and broke it. So we got some new ones. These were like 40 bucks for a couple pieces of plastic. All right. Bob the Builder. Can he fix it? Can I break it? Don't break it, Bob. There's so much dust. Oh no. Oh no, we're gonna have to wash our bedding. Oh. Oh, that's so gross. Ew. Okay, let me go clean this outside. One hour later. Actually, that worked surprisingly well. I just banged it on the ground. Nice and clean. Okay, here's the fun part. Here's the fun part. Look, look. Oh God. Did you break it? No, no, I did not. So this one, I don't have to be quite so careful. Oh. <sighs> Don't break it. Do you break it? You buy it. Wait, we did buy it. <gasps> oh. Okay. All right. All right. Success. All that to say, the nice thing is, is we really haven't had to spend that much money on fixing Mr. Lemon. Just a lot of time and frustration. Yes. Lots of frustration. <laughs> what? This donut looks like it's been through hell and back, but I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> mm, how is it? Sugary. Tastes good. Okay. So let's talk service providers. So one thing that you need to make sure of when you purchase your coach you need to have a conversation with the salesperson about where you can get your service done. So you're gonna have like re routine, like recurring maintenance, and then you're also gonna have warranty work. And you need to make sure that when you're traveling, you can either get service done other places, or at the very least understand where you can get the service so that you wanna make sure you get stuff done before you leave, you know, all those kind of good things. So it's really critical because some places have a lot of restrictions. We haven't had that experience because we've been getting all of ours done at the place where we purchased it. But I would definitely encourage, have that conversation with the salesperson and understand where you can get your warranty work done. Can we go anywhere else outside of La Mesa? Do we know that? So I've heard, and I say that because I have not experienced it, that Thor can authorize you to go somewhere else. Okay. But I don't know if that's true. So hit us up in the comments if I am incorrect, because that would be terrible to be wrong on that one, especially if you're relying on it. I think that's where I would get a little nervous. It's like, you know, I, I guess one thing I do worry about is, let's say you're on a long trip, you're a thousand miles from home and you have something, you know, major happen. Like, let's say like our BM Pro, you know, master node when it failed. If we would have been a thousand miles from home and we would have had to drive all the way back home just to get that repaired. First off, that would have been incredibly irritating. And second, it took like three months to get an appointment and it was just a horrible experience. So I could see where not having service kind of remotely or away from home could really kind of wreck a trip. So plan before you go. So let's finish up with the last two items that we had repaired on this most recent trip for warranty work. First one is actually our headliner right here. Uh, we had this replaced when we bought it a couple months after we bought it and kind of something similar happened. These corners, they basically don't sit well. They, they're not secured properly. I don't know, 
But they ended up adding these buttons to kind of hold all of this together. That's so. actually the third time we had it worked on. So the first time they replaced it, the second time they put like... Um... No, I did that. <laughs> what did you put, do? I put like carpet tape on here to try to get this to hold down so it would stay oh, in place. Oh, I didn't know that. And then they came back and put these buttons in. So apparently this is something that they have been doing now. It's a flaw in Thor's design. And so La Mesa was like, oh yeah, we know all about that. We'll take care of it. So they added them here. And then they also added them on this side over here. And, you know, it does look a lot nicer keeping those kind of nice and tight and secured. Because otherwise they kind of like fold down and they look, looks terrible. But okay. anyway, so that's taken care of. Okay. Okay. The last thing that we had fixed on this latest trip to La Mesa um, was this piece of wood. Believe it or not, yep. they replaced this entire piece of wood. Because? Because? Right down there, got all swollen and nasty. Yeah, so that had water damage from having the water tank replaced and all. You guys, if you go back in the archives of our videos, you can watch all the issues we've had with the Mr. Lemon, the RV. And this was one of them. And so we were able to get this whole piece of wood replaced and they matched the wallpaper up perfectly. And now there's no water damage at all, which is good with us because that was concerning that we had water damage. So yeah, those are the four things we just had replaced. The air conditioner thing, the wood, the buttons, and the skylight repainted. But honestly, our warranty is going to be up in a few months, I think. The the Thor warranty. And so we need to get it in for a few more things, I think, before it flips over to the extended, because I'm worried. What if Thor's warranty covers way more than this extended warranty? Like, how does that work? And do we have like co-pays or I guess we do. We have, so once we go to the extended warranty, it looks like we're going to have to pay a hundred dollars probably every time we see them. So that's concerning. So anyways, food for thought on RV warranties. Now let's go back to Bob, finish this video up and talk about the claims process of, you know, using your warranty. We're measuring our progress in the video by how much of the donut I eat. <laughs> you did not just say that. Now you're supposed to be talking. Mm, that's so good. So sweet. Just oh. like me. Oh my word. My experience with the claims process has been I'll have mixed reviews. On one hand, it's gone pretty well. On the other hand, not so well. And what I mean by that is, so first off, every time I want to take the van in, typically I have to call and make an appointment. So that can take up to three months to just get an appointment. And then once you have your appointment, they document all the things that you want done or that you're having issues with. Then it requires Thor approval. And then they have to order parts and that could take up to three more months. So it can be quite frustrating to get your appointment and get to the point where they actually, you know, make your repairs. Then of course they have to reschedule another appointment when they arrive, take it in and get it repaired. And so the entire process takes way too long. That's where I say it's like on one hand, it's kind of terrible, but at the same time, I haven't, it hasn't really cost me anything, just my time. If you've got something like a critical like flaw with your, your coach, then you might not be able to use it for that entire duration. But if it's something minor, you just have to be patient. It'll eventually get fixed. Yeah. And ours has all been pretty minor. I mean, some, yeah, I, actually though, some of the major ones you just fixed and that, that leads us right into like, do you need to be handy in order to buy an RV? Yeah. I think the, the two, the two major repairs that I think frustrated me personally the most were the BM Pro Master master node failing because it was really hard to diagnose like what in the world was going on. And then the second thing was when the batteries failed and frustrating because they didn't honor the warranty, both because it's a battery warranty plus Thor. It was a kind of a debacle, but we got new batteries and put them in. Yourself. And I did that. But let's see, so do you need to be handy? Honestly, if I had to give advice to somebody, I would say don't go for the extended warranty as long as you are handy. If you are handy, you know, 
sure, have them do all of the manufacturer, you know, repairs under that warranty. But once that's up, just do your own. It's way easier. You can learn so much on YouTube. Um, it's going to save you a lot of money and you can pretty much do it wherever you want. You just need the right tools. Well, and if you think about it, we essentially paid $5,000 for something that will we use the entire 5,000? No. Hopefully not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not. That's the best way to put that. Yeah, Hopefully we don't not. think so. I mean, I guess there's pros and cons because if you're not handy, then 100%. True. True. Yeah. I mean, that's why I say if you're not handy, it could be it could be a lifesaver because, you know, you could literally just here, drop off your, your coach, get all the repairs done. Call me when it's done. Yeah. But that would require a lot of time yeah. and patience. So I don't know. My, my recommendation, save your money as long as you're handy. You're going to recommend something. I don't want to be liable for that. I'm putting something at the bottom. <laughs> not liable. <laughs> We're not liable. I had a disclaimer. Yeah. I had a disclaimer. If yeah. you're handy. But what if you're handy and it still goes wrong and then they're going to blame you? No, they can't blame me. They have to blame themselves because they did the work. Okay. Alrighty. Anything else on warranties? Don't forget to read the fine print. Oh, that's one thing I would recommend. We we didn't read our fine print. We were too excited. Yeah. But uh, it, there's a lot of good information there that you should really read. Yeah. So. so so if you guys have any more questions for us about warranties, hit us up in the comments. Let us know. We'd love to answer your questions. We'll share what we know, or at least our experiences. Yeah. We're not pros. Not pros. What are we? Bob and Hillary. No. Uh, we are, we're not really newbies. We're not really anything. We're just, we're just here. We're here to help. We're just here we to just help. Love sharing. Yeah. We just are trying to help people not make our mistakes. Very true. And enjoy the journey. Yes. That's a great way of putting it. Yep. Enjoy the journey. Okay. All you right. want to send us out? Yes, I will send us out. So uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm just wondering what you're going to come up with. <laughs> it's always something special at the end. It is. So. You just never know with Bob. <laughs> All right. If you enjoyed today's video, we would really appreciate it if you would give us a like and a subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And we really need all the help we can get. So anyway. In more than just the channel. <laughs> yeah. In life. That's true. <laughs> That's very true. Okay. So, all right. Until next time. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.